On Wednesday, we see you know, always one of the hardest teams to prepare for, one of the hardest teams to play against, extremely well coached. Uh, their motion offense is different than what a lot of the teams run, and they do it very, very well. Uh, they defend you, and they rebound, and, and just, uh, just tough and hard nose like their like they're coach. So uh, good one coming on Wednesday. And obviously, senior night with uh, the five guys we've got. Uh, that's always uh, um, always a different adds a different twist to it. Uh, you know, five guys that have done a lot on and off the floor. So uh, looking forward to getting ready here for uh, for Wednesday night. Um, and they've changed some. You know, not a lot. You know, that's one of the things that I've respected about Marty and his program is uh, they do you know they they do what they do and they do it very well. Uh, they don't change a lot, and they've had success with it. And uh, so it's still man-to-man -man defense. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit of zone, not much. Uh, they're still running, as I said, running that motion offense. Ballantyne's heavily involved. Uh, you know, the difference is the, the the new guys that they do have now have just got more experience, and then they're playing good basketball. And you know, for Evansville, they're in a position where they can still finish third and uh, and win 20 games and put them put themselves in a even better position. They'll play in the postseason somewhere, uh, but they can improve that. You know, this week still with our game and their last game and heading into the Valley Tournament. So. Uh, in terms of how much they've changed, not a lot. Uh, just doing a little bit better. Yeah, you know, offensively, their their motion offense is different than what most teams in the uh, in our league and really most teams around the country. You know, so much of it now is using the ball screen, and and Evansville does very little of that. Uh, you know, theirs is the true motion offense where they're going to run Ballantyne around until they can get him freed up. And um, if you're helping too much with him, they're going to find guys diving to the rim or, or uh, you know do some things to get the ball inside to their. Uh, their big junior center, who's improved a lot, uh, I think that's a that's a big part of it. And then the other is they, uh, as I mentioned, they they play as hard as anybody in the country, and regardless of circumstance. Uh, you know, we, when we went over there, was it four or five years ago, and they were had one or two league wins. You know, they played as hard as anybody we'd played against all year, and that was at the end of the year. And uh, and that's a tribute. You know, that uh, speaks directly to the way in which Marty coaches them and um, and the toughness that they play with. You know, I said it this morning, you know, it, it, uh, I didn't quite know how to phrase it. I really didn't. I mean, I, but it's just, uh, you know, it's another line in the sand, if you will. You know, the top 25, when you go from 26 to 25, it's one spot, but that's a big deal. When you go from 11 to 10, it's one spot, but that's a big deal. So I'm very proud of the guys. I, I really am uh, to, be, uh, to, to be number 10 this week, no question.